there time travelers this week we are traveling to medieval times and we will be making a paper crown so you need to have a craft kit which should be dropped off at your door and then you'll also need to find a pair of scissors around the house if you've got some coloring supplies you can also pull these out for the craft as well they'll be used to decorate but if you don't have coloring supplies that's okay there are some decorations in the kit so let's open up the kit and see what we got this week We've got our handy dandy instructions, some orange paper, some of you might have yellow paper, either color is okay. You should have some craft jewels and some foam stickers, a pencil, a little pot of glue, and a popsicle stick to spread that glue. So now that we've got all our supplies, We'll look over the instructions and see what we do first. First thing, make sure you've got all the supplies on that supply list. Everything should be there, minus the scissors. So step one says we're going to fold the paper in half like a cart. So paper should already come folded in half once you get it. You can straighten up that folding if you want, make it a little straighter. I'm going to fix mine. And then we're going to fold it in half again. So once more, like the card. There we go. Anybody struggling with the instructions, they can be a little tricky. This week we also have some picture instructions to follow along with, which should make things a little easier. So step two says we're going to take our pencil. Oop, I dropped it. And we're going to draw a little section of the crown. So if you see here, we've got a little section drawn. And once we fold that out, that section is going to be all the points in our crown. So you can make it pointy, add a little square, circle, diamond, anything you wish. So I'm going to come up and I'm going to make mine kind of circular. Just like that. So once we've got that drawn, we're going to cut it out. Careful not to cut yourself with the scissors. that out perfect so that's going to be the little pillars of my crown so the next step says we're going to flip the paper around so this is going to be the bottom now and we're going to trace the piece we just cut out it's going to make a few more layers of our crown make it a little longer so take your paper, place it over, then we'll take our pencil and trace that so it's the same shape and same size. And then we're going to cut that out again, just like we did with the last one. Now that we got both our sections cut, we're going to place them over top of each other and just trim them up just to make sure that they're the same shape and same size. You don't want them to be uneven. So layer those on top of one another. Take your scissors. Trim up those edges to be a little more even. Careful not to nick yourself with the scissors as they are tight corners. So the next step says we're going to unfold them. This is going to be the design for our crown. You should have two sections. You can unfold them. If you've got any pencil marks from when you were tracing, erase that. There we go. And then we are going to glue the two ends together. That way it's going to be one long piece. So right here at the end, we'll take our little pot of glue and our popsicle stick. Just put a little bit of glue and we'll put glue right on the end here. There we go. And then we're going to take that other piece and stick it on top 
and hold it for a moment so it can dry. While you're holding it, count to 10, count to 20, sing the alphabet, whatever you choose. Just give it a little bit of time to stick. You don't want it wet because when you stick it to your head, it'll stick to your hair. So I'm gonna just hold that and let it dry for a moment. Once your glue's dried there, we're gonna measure our crown. So we're gonna carefully take it, put it around our head to measure the size. If it's too big, you're gonna cut off a whole section and remeasure it. I got a big head, so this is the perfect size. So it says once it's cut to size, we're gonna glue it together to make it a crown. So those last two ends of the crown, we're gonna glue. So we'll take some glue, spread it here right on the end. Once the glue's all spread, bring this around to make it circular and we'll stick it. Again, you're gonna wanna hold it for a moment to dry, same as you did last time. Maybe this time sing another song instead of your alphabet. Count 30 this time, whatever you choose, but just let that dry for a moment. Once your crown is all dry, we're gonna decorate it. So if you have your coloring supplies, you can use those to decorate it. Also, you've got some sequins or craft gems and some stickers. So just kind of stick those wherever you choose. You can make a pattern, stick them at random. I'm gonna stick a gem on each little tip here. And then I might stick some more stickers. So go ahead and decorate that however you want. Once you've got your crown all decorated, we're gonna let the glue completely dry. Then once it's dry, you can wear your crown around or put it on a shelf for decoration. They make really cute costumes, so I'd recommend wearing it. I hope everybody has a blast making their crown, and I hope to see everybody's crafts. Have fun, guys!